went down in the valley to pray, studying about that good old way. And who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Come on, brothers, let's go down. Come on down, don't you want to go down? Come on, brothers, let's go down, down in the valley to pray. I went down in the valley to pray, studying about that good old way. And who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Come on, sisters, let's go down. Come on down, don't you want to go down? Come on, sisters, let's go down. I want to warn you that video may be a little difficult to watch. One person died in the shooting, five others were hurt. Police say they are expected to survive. The starry crown, good Lord, show me the way. Come on, children, let's go down. Come on down, don't you want to go down? Come on, children, let's go down. Down in the valley to pray. Down in the valley to pray. Down in the valley to breathe. One dead, five oh, shot. No kidding. What was it, a robbery? Are you on my mind? Oh, okay. In this video, you see a group of people on Verbena as the suspect's car pulls up to Colfax. Three people get out of the car and begin to shoot. Police say they're using handguns. As the victims take cover, the shooters get back in the car and speed off. From the first shot to the last, that's less than 10 seconds. Well, we're extremely concerned. We're, we're talking, like right now, it's almost 4 o'clock in on Colfax. This happened about 2 o'clock. It's a heavy, heavily populated area. It's absolutely concerning that this occurred in broad daylight. Um, and so, you see so I just saw my daughter out of school, and as I'm walking away, they get over the intercom and say, a level 6 lockdown. All students in the school get in the building, no parents allowed. I'm not going to lie, it's Colorado, so I grabbed my daughter and took off. This is what's going on. Hey, there's so many cops here, this would be a perfect time to start a robbery. <laughs> I covered that um, girl, um, Baby Smiley, murdered the rapper girl that was just murdered on the street, right down there by that big tree, the first yeah. big tree. Cover hers. Like, there's been a lot of them here in this area. Definitely, dude. This is a high traffic area. Yep. Oh, I know. <laughs> I was actually raised on the east side of Denver and Swansea. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of shit. That's what he said. Yeah, it started in yeah, the store. Yeah, it started in the store. And people were running. Five people shot, one dead. That's why, because I was at the school. And they announced a level six lockdown. Everybody get in. I grabbed her and ran. I'm not getting stuck in the school. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was literally at the school and they did a lockdown there. So I grabbed her and took off. The last place I want to be is stuck in a school if, if somebody's got a gun. Yeah, I grabbed her and ran. All they, they were yelling, everybody get inside. I took off. Yeah. No. They have cameras all over that store, dude. So yeah, oh, yeah. He's, he's going to get caught. Oh, is that he? Yeah. What race was it? Like White? He was white? Yeah. And multiple suspects. Well, uh, my friend seemed to shoot him over here. Him. Multiple well, suspects? No, it's just uh, uh, no, one multiple. suspect, but five five shot, one bit. Were they all like African American? I'm Asian, not sure. I'm not I'm not totally sure. Yeah, I just got here and they were already clear. Yeah. They're all black. They're all black. They're all black. And the shooter was Caucasian. They're all black. Oh, I heard the next one did it, so I don't know. That's so sad. I don't know. You guys know what it was over? <laughs> no. Hey, this the hood. Probably drugs. <laughs> <laughs> a, you can't kill money, drugs, whatever. A, a woman, a bitch, a whole. I don't know. Yeah. It's over something. So two of them were chicks. It's like three chicks, two or three got hit. It's five, five got hit, man, one day. One day and five got hit. You seen a body bag over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see a body bag over there. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I, I know, but I know one they mentioned that body bag. And he just crossed the street, I keep telling you, in the white car. 
Yeah. 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 I know who you're talking about. Oh, we're coming the hard Y'all can't smoke this shit in here. Get out. Oh, oh that was probably over drugs. Then. It's over. Yeah. You and Cole Fat. Yeah, we ran This is whole drugs are We ran them out a couple of times. Uh, yeah, exactly. Pretty. I like it. That's a pretty one. Yeah. yeah, man. I'm in the room. I'm in the I'm East Colfax. Almost daily you could see something on this street that could make national news. Last week, cops went shooting on a bus, city bus packed with people. After taking a seat, the bus moves forward for about 10 seconds. Moments after, patrol cars can be seen surrounding the bus, and Colin gets up out of his seat and walks to the front. He stays there for a moment before attempting to get away from the officers boarding the bus. What happens next happens quickly. You can see in this angle an officer struggling to grab Collins as a canine pulls at his shorts. Another officer steps in and points his taser at him. In this freeze frame, notice the red laser on Collins' back. Two seconds later, the officer deploys the taser and the probes land on his back. Another two seconds later, an officer's gun recoils after he fires multiple shots. Collins, while holding the knife, falls to the ground. And in this other angle, you can see a canine approaching the bus, which eventually pulls Collins' body out. And have decided to pause it. Although most of the country knows Colfax for being the longest road in America, the people in Denver know it more for its crime, drugs, and prostitution. Although this corner here is a hot spot for crime, drugs, prostitution, even bad accidents, this is just one corner on Colfax. We're going to go ahead and take a ride down Colfax, a 20 minute ride or so, and I'm going to show you a couple hot spots for crime. Keep in mind though, many of the people on the streets don't like cameras when they see them. Somebody got shot. But with everybody uploading videos to social media, YouTube, and TikTok these days, these people definitely don't want their crimes or their crime locations exposed. So we're going to take a ride, but don't be surprised if there's a confrontation or two. You may even see an accident, murder scene, or something along this trip. But we're going to go ahead and take this drive on Saturday, early in the morning, before people start their crimes. And I'll show you a little bit about Colfax. Alright, it's Saturday, it's early, and it's cold. So hopefully these people ain't out in their crime hotspots, what I'm about to show you. Alright, we'll start here at Michael's Convenience Store on the corner of Verbena Street and Colfax Avenue. Now obviously this is a hot crime spot where six people were just gunned down the other day, one killed, five wounded. And here you'll be able to find anything from prostitutes to any kind of drug you want. Now from this location there's at least two elementary schools within four blocks. I don't know his name, man. It was five people got shot. Yeah. Yeah, five people got shot here. Yeah, right here. Two days ago. Three people pulled up right over here, jumped out of the car, and started firing on these people. Man, I cover a lot of crime around here. Don't know. They were wearing masks and suits. Don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not sure why. But that's the second time just for this shooting that somebody's asked me about the person's race. I don't know why it's important first thing I get for description and stuff, but it seems like that's the first thing everybody wants to know. What color were they? Now I get this guy may have been up to no good selling drugs and probably prostitutes, but I haven't had one person ask me or I haven't heard anybody mention anything if he had kids or a family. Wouldn't that be more important than what color he was? You be careful. Now, this property over here, from my understanding, is under new ownership. But at one time it was a motel and there was many, many murders here on this property. It would be safe to say that this corner, these few blocks right here, 
is one of the worst spots for crime, drug, prostitution on the east side of Colfax. But there's more, and we're going to go check them out. Mind your business, please. Oh, good old Colfax. I don't ever bring my camera out here and not expect confrontation. That hotel over there is another hot crime spot. Pretty much all the hotels, pretty much, on Colfax, which I honestly believe contribute to the crime uh, because they know people staying there from out of town and stuff, so they bring their drugs and prostitutes to these hotels. These people seem to have a problem with me taking pictures. Let's see if they come over here. We might be getting in a fight here in a minute. I don't know if you can hear them on the camera or not, but they're steadily yelling about me taking pictures and get out of here. I don't know what all they're yelling. <laughs> I think this guy really has a problem with me and my camera. Uh, let's see what he wants to say. You all gonna get a treat today. Him now. I ain't worried about him at all. <laughs> all right, I think we're good here. Let's go ahead and bounce to the next hot spot because there's plenty of them on Colfax. So let's get moving. Here I'm not really on the corner of a street, it's just a strip just before Dayton here on Colfax and often you can see prostitutes walking on both sides, uh, they use that hotel right there quite a bit. But there's also been quite a few murders right around here, particularly at this motel right here that's closed down. It was actually a gun shooting from over there, uh, they shot across the street at a hotel on this side of the road over here. So this is another strip. It's uh, pretty bad with crime. Imagine a shootout between this Motel 9 and a hotel on the side of the road I'm standing on with traffic going through, like it is. But it did happen right here on Colfax, between two drug dealers. Alright, cars are starting to honk at me as they're passing by, so time to get moving to the next hot spot. Let's get moving. Bus stops are another hot spot for drug dealers and prostitutes. Route 15 is famous for a lot of things, but you can usually get on the bus and get off at any stop and find pretty much anything you need. be misled at the fact that I'm not stopping along the way, as there's plenty of crime along both sides of Colfax all along this route. I'm just heading to one of the more busier and well-known spots. Aside from the drugs and prostitution, gangs have developed a huge presence here along Colfax as well, certainly contributing to the crime rates increase. And with gang activity increasing along Colfax Avenue, so will the violent crimes like the one you witnessed at the beginning of this video. I'm not saying that was gang related, but it was certainly organized like it was gang related. 
because not only was it very well organized and planned the way they jumped out and started shooting their victims, but the shooters had at least two getaway cars that the police have already recovered. Now normally when you pull up to a library, you're here to get a book, maybe a DVD, or even meet up with somebody uh, to have coffee sometimes. But here at the Martin Luther King Library on Colfax, you can find a lot more than just books, DVDs, and somebody to sit with and have a cup of coffee. Now most days, particularly during the week, this whole area is packed with homeless people. And I'm not saying that's the crime. But amongst the homeless people, you also find prostitutes and drug addicts out here trying to work or steal your money on both sides of the street. This area is usually packed, making this another crime hotspot here off of Colfax. A lot more of your robberies and uh, beatings and stuff take place right around this area. Not to say that there's not drugs and prostitution, uh, because that's up and down Colfax. But you don't see a hotel around here. Uh, prostitutes and drug dealers tend to stay more over there. Here's a lot more of your homeless and people don't have stuff. And I'm, again, I'm not knocking homeless people. But there is some criminals amongst the homeless that hang out here. And some of these people are pretty violent when they do their crimes. Now many of the homeless here that do commit crimes also come with mental issues which contribute to the crimes they commit. I would like to mention that so that people don't jump to conclusions and say that I'm calling homeless people uh, criminals and things like that. That's not what I'm saying at all. But there is many a homeless that hang out here that do many violent crimes or robbery crimes and along with being homeless that they have mental issues and that does contribute to it. Along with the homeless that hang out here, you do find many gang members that do tend to hang out at this location. I do not know why. But on this side of the road in particular, you will find many gang members. Now I can speculate that they hide their drugs easily here. There's a bus stop, there's many places they can hide their drugs. And they do get a lot of traffic that comes through here. But again, that's speculation. I could not tell you for sure why the gangs hang out here. But this is a known gang location hangout. Making it a crime hotspot here on Colfax. Now you may be saying, well I don't see any gang members or anything like that hanging out there right now. Again, this is Saturday morning, it's early, it's cold, and I chose this time to avoid confrontation being out here with my camera. There is a reason why I'm out here right now. However, there is a few more crime hotspots here on East Colfax I'd like to cover. So we're going to go ahead and get moving from this spot and get moving on to the next one. Aside from the prostitutes, drug dealers, gangs, and homeless contributing to Colfax crime rate numbers, car thefts are on the rise along Colfax as well.
This plaza, like many along Colfax, have a super high rate of car thefts, making this a hot spot for crimes along Colfax Avenue. If I were to show you every spot on Colfax where crime is committed, I would literally have to walk it step by step with my camera. But this spot right here and that spot right over there across the street, that whole area over there, is usually a hot spot for people that are on fentanyl and uh, what we call zombies around here. People just walking around, not really sure what's going on in the world. And the people that are on those drugs are getting them from somewhere. Often it's from hotels like this right over here. But anywhere there's a cheap hotel, you can pretty much bet there's going to be crime with it. This spot in general, or any spot here on Colfax, just because you're standing out here on a busy road, doesn't mean you can't get shot out here. Hours like this where traffic isn't too busy, you can actually get shot and lay there for a few hours before somebody realizes you're actually dead. A lot of people will assume you're just sleeping passed out on the sidewalk, which is very common here in the Denver area. I keep mentioning these motels along with the crime, and it's not to be repetitive, it's for a reason. It's because most of the crimes committed along this street happen right at or close to a motel. Most of them, as I said. With that said, we're working our way down towards one of the worst motels on this strip. So let's go on and get moving. Subscribers of this channel may recognize this building from a previous episode I did about some bullshit they were doing to their tenants here over the years. Currently this building shut down, but that doesn't mean the crime stopped here. With more sleazy hotels still open right next door, you can still find pretty much anything you want from prostitutes to meth, heroin, and even fentanyl. You know, so far I've mentioned the drugs, prostitution, drug dealers, gangs, thefts, car thefts. But another common problem that you see along Colfax is people come up missing on this road. Oftentimes it doesn't even go reported. But there is some that have. Again, there was as many as 20 serial killers working these streets between 1970 and 1990. And women in particular seem to vanish quite often on this road. Often it was prostitutes that were targeted along this strip that ended up disappearing, only later to be found naked, posed in humiliating ways. But not always was it prostitutes who would disappear. Sometimes it was people waiting on the bus who had broke down, walking or riding to work. There was some that disappeared, never worked a day in their life in the sex industry. Now, to be clear, it's not always the hotels and motels that house the criminals. Often it's housing projects like that one over there. There's one over here behind this motel. But usually your criminals either stay on Colfax or really, really close to it. 
With that said, I do have to keep it moving. I have a few other spots I want to show you on East Colfax. So we're going to get moving along. But I did want to make sure I show those housing projects over there. Those are a huge problem in this area. Not the projects themselves, but a lot of the people that stay in them. Alright, let's go ahead and bounce to our next location. For our last stop here on this crime hotspot tour of Colfax, I'm going to cover one that you may be familiar with if you're a subscriber to this channel again, the Paysetter Motel, known for a lot of drug overdoses, um, prostitution, murders, there's been a couple unsolved murders that I've covered here at this motel, but this one is definitely a crime hotspot. Not just that, but right behind me on the other side is McDonald's here, I don't know if you can see down there. But there would be the Shell Station that Elijah McLean was at just before he walked down the street and was murdered by the Aurora Police Department. Right down here. Not sure if you can see it, but there's a Shell Station right over there. And that is the last Shell Station that Elijah McLean was at just before he was murdered again. But uh, this McDonald's is usually packed. A lot of homeless here. And again, nothing wrong with the homeless. But the ones that hang out in this area do tend to get hostile when you don't give them things. Uh, I've actually videoed a few fights here in the past. Um, there's just a lot of uh, violent crimes right here in this location, in particular violent crimes. Again, murders at this hotel here. There's been a couple. There's a few unsolved, actually, that I've covered. So this definitely would make my top five of crime hotspots off Colfax. I've also covered my homeless episode. There was some footage that was shot from here. Just because, uh, again, there's a lot of homeless here, and the homeless that tend to hang out at this McDonald's, again, they do get very, very hostile. Uh, I've seen, as I mentioned, there's been fights here, there's been stabbings here at this location, uh, just a lot at this McDonald's in general. So if you're traveling through and you see the Pace Center Motel and this McDonald's, you may not want to stop at this one. Uh, put it this way, this is the only McDonald's in Denver. I never see a line in the drive through You could literally get in and get out quick at this one. Because not too many people actually come to this location. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here at this location, though. And head on down here to the Shell Station I was referring to that Elijah McLean was at just before he was murdered. Hopefully you're liking this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps. But for now, I'm going to bounce from here. <laughs> this kid, every time she sees a McDonald's, she thinks she, she's got to get some chicken nuggets. But right over here where that car is at, often there's a lot of homeless there that will come right up to your window, and they will get hostile. They'll bang on your window for money right here at this little island and right on this side. They'll bang on your window for money when you're at the stoplight, so it's not an area you usually want to stop at. So when it comes to Denver, it's really hard to avoid Colvax Avenue if you want to do anything. After all, this is something like 27 miles long, and it stretches in other cities. Often you'll find cops, and arrest, violent crimes right over there. But I covered some of the hot spots of crime. Again, it's hard to avoid Colfax if you're in Denver. And not all of Denver is violent and loaded with drugs and prostitutes. But the areas I showed you surely have its share. This would be the Shell Station that Elijah McLean was at just before he started his walk down the street. That would be his final walk. 
And this is, too, another crime hotspot. You'll see a lot of druggies hanging out here and over there by the bridge on that side. But right down this road here would have been the last walk that he took, he being Elijah McLean, before he was murdered. He took that walk right down here. I'm going to go ahead and start heading back. We'll speed up this video if it's included in the final edit. But usually, it's pretty common to come down Colfax and be stopped at least once uh, with the police. You can see the homeless under the bridge there. And again, there's nothing wrong with the homeless. I want to be clear. Some choose, some don't have a choice to be out here. And that's not what this video is about. When I bring up the homeless, I'm referring to the ones that do commit violent crimes or robberies and things like that. I just want to clarify. But as I was saying, it's, it's very common to go down Colfax and have at least one side, if not both, blocked with the police for some kind of crime or accident or things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and record my trip back. I'm going to speed up the video if it ends up being included in the final edit. And we'll just see if, uh, by chance, the road's blocked for some reason here on Colfax. Because that is another common thing you will have happen to you if you drive this road. Especially Monday through Friday. Uh, you know, it's very common to have accidents here. Um, big, pretty big accidents at that. So, for those that aren't familiar with Denver or don't live here, if you can avoid Colfax... You for sure want to do it, but if nothing else, at least try to avoid the places I showed you in this video. And that didn't take long before traffic started getting backed up. As I mentioned, uh, you could pretty much expect something going on on Colfax every time you're on here. Uh, I'm heading back the same direction I came from, and there was nothing going on this side when I came through. But they got the cops up here for something. Who knows, but it's very common to, you know, to have traffic backed up here on Colfax. Looks like we might get through pretty quick, but I'm going to go ahead and close out this video either way. Get some credits rolling. Again, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. As for me, I'm going to get through this traffic jam, and I'm going to go get something to eat. So until next time, you all stay cool.
Hey people, Jesus here. And I just wanted to remind you, the only way into heaven is to become a subscriber to Blunt Trips. Imagine being stuck in eternity watching those other channels. <laughs> Subscribe and Jesus will love you even more. But you have to believe. See you soon. Jesus.